It's unboxing time, baby. <laughs> oh, I wanted to do this kind of intro for so long. <laughs> hey, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day because I have. It's haul time. It's February haul time. And it's massive. Oh my God, this never happened before. And before we begin, welcome to Pagocino. And I hope you like what you see. So first of a little disclaimer, it's purely coincidence that I have so many packages in one go. We have my birthday present in it. We have some orders from last year, September. We have my November pre-orders and we have my January pre-orders all in one go. So let's get right into unboxing. Yay! You will have noticed that there's one package which is not from Ami Ami, which is my birthday present and it's Lego. You will be surprised, but um, what should I say? I really love sometimes building Lego stuff. I have a few sets, not, not a lot, just a few. And this time I got the boutique hotel and I'm happy. I, I'm I have a few more buildings and I love to connect them. They they look really dirty. And yeah, it's kind of something to build them. And it even came with this taxi, kind of retro taxi or vintage taxi. And the driver looks like a thug. <laughs> so when you get into this taxi, you will either get robbed or he will drive you there where you wherever you want. It's one of the two. <laughs> I find it so funny the design of this figure is just hilarious. He could rob you. He looks as if he could rob you. <laughs> yeah, so that's my birthday because February is my birthday month. So I got a Lego set and you won. Yay! <laughs> Putting that to the front. Next, as you probably saw, I have a lot of merch and I guess we will start the first part with the Tokyo Ranger merch because as I said in my last video, I'm really simping them right now. And first of all, I got a clear file of Shifuyu, best boy. Shifuyu is the best boy and he looks so good. I love the art in this clear file. It looks really amazing, so I'm really happy to have it. But actually I decided to order this so that I can wait before I need to pay it because of um, some other items that I wanted to combine with it. Well, it, it was cheap. It's a clear file and I think I will put into this clear file now all the army army cards. I got three different from three different months. And I must say, I really love this New Year care card. This, this one is really pretty. I really love the art style from it. And my guess is now that we are back to the artworks, that maybe next year we will have again the comic ones. But we will see. I think I will use Shifuyu's clear file to store this. <laughs> yeah. Next, I got some acrylic stands from the Tokyo Revenger Boy. Of course, Shifuyu Matsono, Mikey, and Mitsuya. And this is the Kazako line. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> and this is where the little boys all come with the umbrella, hence Kaza. 
am some cute little kitties and at first glance I thought it would be just a normal kitty but no 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 I don't know how many noticed this but if you really take a look you will notice these kitties are actually other characters so if you take Shifuyu for example he is with Bachi kitty he's with a Bachi kitty then Mitsuya is with his second in command I think Taka was his name hopefully I remember this correctly which is adorable and lastly Mikey has even three kitties which I assume are Emma the little the little orange one uh, the yellow one would be Draken and the black one on his lap could be Shinichiro but I'm not exactly sure what do you think who it is let me know so I just got these three for now because I decided to collect all of them and I will get the second line of the Kazako line from Tokyo Ranger as well because I really fell in love with these artwork the only nitpick I have about them is that they are just printed from the back and nothing is on the back and that the acrylic has no foil on it so if there will be a scratch it will be a scratch which sucks I think and the next acrylic stand that I got is the night party version acrylic stand oh, where they all wear animal hoodies oh they look cute we have Baji with a little wolf in a wolf onesie then we have this boy Shifuyu in a cat outfit with Pikachu for lunch <laughs> maybe maybe it's Pikachu then we have Drake as a puppy mind he adorable he's a Shiba and he got a little Shiba next to him so cute and last but not least we have also Mikey in a bunny suit tugging with the bunny for Adora Yaki which is adorable but if I would have to say what kind of animal Mikey is I would say he's more like a bear than a bunny <laughs> I think it's not that fitting and because he didn't have an acrylic standy I got his keychain and that would be Katsutora with a little obviously tiger just as his name says Tora means tiger it's so cute I love that they match I don't think I will get Mitsuya and Takemichi but I will think about it but for now I'm happy with these four they are so adorable oh, so happy I hope they will do some great figures of them because for now there's none I really like so moving on I got a mug <laughs> it's a Japanese tea cup from Kimitsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer the Hashira mug I have no idea what it says these are a lot of kanjis that I can't read uh, but it looks so good and I'm so happy that it didn't came broken because it just came in a white little box with some bubble wrap around it no tissue inside no protection inside so it came not broken and it came via a ship so that says something all my ship until now all my packages which came via surface mail and a ship were non-broken they were in super condition the boxes were super fine no wetness no damage no baseball game with my package so they are really good and I'm really happy that this one came unbroken that I will have heat to drink green tea out of it out of it I really love this design I'm watching out for another black one so that it can match this one but I didn't want to have the same design twice next I got more <laughs> from Shiva it's the Kato Figo Animal mini set I don't know 1 to 87 scale of Shiba Inu I didn't know it would be so small they are so tiny they are so tiny I will not open this I will lose these little doggies oh, <laughs> thought it would be bigger 
but it's so cute. I have way too little merch about Chiba, so I definitely had to get it. And maybe at some point when I have a good display case where I can put them, I will free them from their prison. But for now they will stay like this because I would just lose them. They are so tiny. I'm way too expensive for this tininess. Oh, that's so cute. I love them. They are so detailed. We have a Shiva with a cone. We have a peeing Shiva. We have a running Shiva. A playful Shiva. Just the lying Shiva. Some sitting ones. And yeah, they, they, overall they are really cute and pretty much or, or pretty good details, I must say. The faces are all look pretty great. And the running one has even his tongue out. A lot of great poses for Shiba. So I'm still happy to have this even through it's so so small. <laughs> really cute. Do you remember this one from one of my early hauls where I got these crystal puzzles of Kiki and I only got one frame with it? Well, I got another frame. <laughs> and I didn't notice this because the pictures on Amiami are never good with these frames. But on the the ornaments on this one is the one from Kiki. And this matched pretty well. I didn't notice this. I just saw, oh, they have another one, this time in the burgundy colored one. So I will get it because it looks really good and I needed one because I have two puzzles. And this one is Kiki ones. The old one is with Totoro on it. So that's a match made in heaven and I didn't know it when I ordered it. The only crepe I have, this one looks a little bit cheaper and more plasticky than the other one, which is also plastic, but looks like wood. So overall, uh, it's still okay. And I'm happy to finally have another frame for it. It looks good. A lot of Kiki on it, uh, Gigi on it. And re really, really happy. Because we are with Ghibli, I got another Ghibli stuff. And that's a little crystal puzzle of Gigi. If I will have it done before I'm done with editing, I will obviously put it into the material and I will show it to you here how it will look if it's finally assembled. But it's in 3D puzzle. Never done one of these before, but I love Kitty, I love Gigi, he's adorable, I have Gigi figures, he will go into my collection. I got my very first wall scroll. And it's this beauty. She's adorable. I actually wanted to have one to go in the background, but I have no idea how to put it in here because I thought it would be in gap where I can push it in, but there's no gap. I can't push it in. Uh, I will think for a solution. And if I don't find one, I will just put it on my fridge cover so that will look great. But ain't she good? And the material is so soft and good and the print is amazing i love it i really really love it i love this art style by the way and yeah i am really amazed it's my first wall scroll i can't stop looking at her her eyes are amazing i love her eyes and she drinks coffee and in this in the office and oh she she's just so cute just so cute cute and i have to confess i got another plush oh another cat plush and it's so soft i love it i love it look at this white belly and this little paw he even has a bow no she has a bow it's it's a female cat and the little tail and, oh I, I love everything about it it's so fluffy it's squishy and i'm screeching right now I see. <laughs> Sorry for that. But, oh I love it. Normally I don't collect plushies because if I would do I would get tons of plushies so I really restrict myself to not getting a lot of plushies. But ah, oh, what should I say when I see a cat, a cat plush I need to get it and this one is so soft. It's the Mofu Mofu line I think. Oh it's so soft. I love it. So it's from Sumiko Korashi and they had these amazing plushes. I think both 
Uh, her brother is also in stock right now, I think. This one is the girl. It's the sister of Neko from Sumiko Gorashi. And the tabby one is the brother from these two. I I'm happy with the grey one. She looks adorable. I don't think I will get the tabby one. That would be too much. I'm happy with her. I guess I will hold her now. <laughs> Love it. So it will stay in my lap. Moving along. I did remember saying that I got another package where a lot of Onmyoji stuff is inside. Well, it came and we have a lot of Onmyoji stuff. Like really a lot of Onmyoji stuff. It's piling up in the door and even an acrylic. And finally, Sashiki Barashi. My next Onmyoji figure. I'm so happy. Of course, she will go into the Onmyoji video. So this will be the next one where I will open her and showcase her. I'm a bit surprised about the box, I must say, because the other one was a black one and I thought, oh, maybe they changed the design to the normal figure boxes, but I've seen other or newer on the OG figures still come in these black boxes, so only she is a little bit different and I don't know exactly why. Because on the back here, it still stands that it's in that it's still manufactured by Net EA's game. Well, so you will not see her this one, but in the next one. As well as all the merch in more detail in the coming video. But another figure that I got is another Nendoroid, and it's the Evante. Nendoroid number 1660 from Bride of Eden, because I will get her scale and she will look good next to the scale. And Oh, let me show her to you. She's adorable. Yeah, her hair is not as purple as a lot of people complained about. And I must say, when taking a closer look at her, she's not as good as other than droids that I got. She, is, she has some rough edges around her hair, I must say. Um, and a lot of her accessories that are in her hair, so the stars, hearts, yeah, stars and hearts, um, look like they could fall off at any moment and are not really good pushed in. But at least nothing came detached, like with some other people. I also think her seam lines that a lot of people were complaining about are not as bad if you have her as they would say it is. I think it looks really good. Her hairpiece sits flush on her head. Uh, a bit annoying was putting in this long pack into her back. I didn't want it to go in at all. Yeah, and her painting is a little bit rough also on the edges. But otherwise, I'm really happy with her. She's so adorable. I love her negligee. It looks really good. So she didn't come with a lot of stuff. She just has a few, uh, two more arm pieces, I think. She has three face plates, one more arm where she holds the sloth plushie, and that's it, basically. She doesn't come with a lot of other stuff. I just wish they would have gone or given her a sitting pose that would have looked so, so cute, especially with this yawning face. I'm not sure I will display her with the yawning face for now or not, but it's so cute in person. And ah, I just have an idea I want to take a photo with. It will look great because I love all the expressions that she comes with. And ah, <laughs> maybe I will display her like this, maybe not. And I can finally use my Nendroid easel stands. <laughs> my Nendroids until now. I, I can't use the easel stand because either they are floating and need her base or they come in, the, in other stuff and don't need it or can stand on their own. So I'm happy that she's finally the first one where you can use it. And what I also really love is that you can move her pigtails around. Like they are totally flexible. You can move them how you want. She's, she's just super adorable and I love her. Yay, I can't wait for her scale. So, and moving on to the last one that I need to remove your mini <laughs> The biggest figure of this haul, my very first one for scale. 
and it's the Elizabeth Bunny. Well, actually, she's not my first one for, but she's the first one to arrive. So, yeah, I will not do a dedicated video to her, even sure, even through I want to. But I thought it would be more interesting to see my reaction because when I saw how big this is, I'm just blown away. That's a massive box. Just look at the two next to me. She's huge. Oh, the box is huge. So I thought, I thought let's open her together. Let me show her to you. I will just clear a little bit the space and then we will open her, okay? So, after moving everything to the side, we can open her from the bottom. Cross my knot. So, you are treated first with the instructions how to put in the bunny ears. I don't think this will be the problem. And you also see, get a first glimpse of the base, which is this black one. And something of the inner, which is the nice yellow color with a great form on it. Great. Oof. That's her in her blister. Wow. She's really huge. I know a lot of people say this, but I guess you can only relate to it as soon as you got your own first one for scale and especially a standing bunny. And getting out the clear black base, which has just made in China printed on it a metal pack and two plastic packs there she is uh, we get another plastic pack don't forget this for the other shoe and her two cute little bunny ears well protected by the way they're really sturdy i didn't think that the, that they would be both are floppy ones Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's enormous. I now know why people are so obsessed with one fourth bunnies. That's a completely different scale from all the others. Okay, the metal pack goes into the black foot, so the other one goes here. So the plastic pack goes under her white shoe. And then this one goes here. So pushing everything so it's fitting well or sitting well. I got her under the base. I think it could be harder. Ah, so the ears. Taking out her placeholders. Let's put in her ears. So I don't even know where to begin. She's massive and I know everyone who gets Vernie figure saves this, but I guess one force is just a scale that if you don't experience yourself, you can't really grasp what's so amazing about it or what what it is that the hype is for. <laughs> and I must say 
Freeing did a really amazing job with this one for Bunny because she is amazing. Her hair scalp. We have these single strands which are sculpted up to the top. We have a split hair top which is amazing. You have these amazing strands in front of her hair. I've seen bunnies with flatter hair than this and this one is just amazing. Really really gorgeous. With beautiful shading, I think it's, it's not much. It does look a little bit greenish. I don't know if my camera will pick this up, but wow. Right now I'm a little bit flashed. So, so you could say that her eyes are a little flat and if they, if they would be glossy, they would pop more, I think. Her mouth is amazingly sculpted with these teeth showing, her tongue. Her, uh, her, her ears are really nicely sculpted. She has these bicolored eyes or heterochromia, I think it's called. Um, both eyes look amazing. In one you have these goddess signs, uh, the goddess, yeah, the goddess sign. Overall, her expression is very spot on. It looks exactly like Elizabeth. I love the matte finish on her bunny suit, and there's some amazing shading on her bodysuit. A little bit unrealistic is that you can see her belly button because believe me when I say there's no clothes where you will ever see the, bun the belly button because then it would need to be airtight and I've never seen someone wear an airtight bodysuit. It's not possible. Believe me, it's not possible. Don't know why they always sculpt it, but it's, it, it still looks fine. It doesn't bother me. I love the stockings, which they have done an amazing job at sculpt at the bottom in her knee, at the top where it squishes her tie a little bit. That looks really amazing. A lot of folds, which would be in reality like this. She has ankles. I don't see a lot of figures with real ankles. That looks great. I love her shoes. She has really big feet, I must say. Or maybe she just has big feet, who knows? <laughs> but they look good. I guess they need to do them so big so that she can stand, probably. She has some smudges on her little fingertip, it's a black one, and on her tight is also a one. I don't know if it's so noticeable. I will see if I can remove the stain, but otherwise the paint job is really good. There are some paint bubbles here and there, but nothing major. Her bunny tail is really well sculpted. A lot of fluffy details in it, I must say. That's amazing. She's top notch. She has a lot of wrinkles in her back. Her backside is beautifully sculpted with her shoulder blades showing and her spine. And even with, with some soft, rose shading in it, give me, giving her a nice skin tone. Her fingers have this really cute, beautiful rose uh, nail polish on it, which looks amazing. The tie around her neck is amazing. It has such so much detail, really nice sculpting. She has even this very cute earring, which they printed a little moon and star on it or sun i'm not exactly sure so so minima but it looks so good a lot of people said they would have liked if it was see-through but i i don't know what they mean this one is a clear plastic it's a clear plastic it's it's not the clearest out there but it's not opaque either so i can really see the light moving through it so it's a nice little pearl i must say don't know what, what people meant with it should be clearer because it is clear. Her whole pose, her assets, her booty, her outfit is Elizabeth. That's why I got her. I watched the Death Seven Deadly Sins and I'm not I'm not such a huge fan. I mean I watched the anime and I really like especially the last arc but it's not that I would say I want all the figures from it you, you know I just had to get her because it's so you look at this bunny if you know the show you know this is Elizabeth and that's what I want to see I want to recognize a figure with the first glance and I think I, they did it they did an amazing job with this bunny because she looks exactly like this 
that's what she would wear if she ever wore a bunny suit. That's Elizabeth. In every way. And so the design to not use stockings is a smart move in this one. Because it's perfect the way it is. She's amazing. Maybe the base is a little bit too big, but um, since I'm not a bunny collector, I don't mind as much, I would say. Um, they have also chosen a glossy finish on her shoes and on the bunny band or hairband where her bunny ears are in. The shoes are okay. They give a nice contrast, so it looks really good, especially the white one which has some blue shading. Both look really great and they still met the color which her suit and her sock and also the arm, whatever it's called. I love her hip dip. That's amazing. Wow. Now that's a shell present. Oh, I, I. Wow. 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 I can't stop looking at <laughs> So uh, enough with me gushing about her or well, this video will be way too long. <laughs> wow, she's huge. She's just huge. Especially when you compare her to a little nendoroid. Look at this. This is a nendoroid next to her. That's how huge she is. She is. So let's measure her up. I will not choose the ears for now. We will just do it like this. And she's a whooping 39 centimeters without the ears. If you add the ears, which would be the highest point I think is here, we are by 41 centimeters and a little bit more. I don't know how much this is in inches, but I will write it down. <laughs> wow. Wow. She's amazing. Oh, and I'm still gushing. Okay. <laughs> we will end it here. I'll get my cat plush again. I'm Flash, my very first bunny figure. I'm, or Technically, she's the first bunny to arrive, but actually she's my second bunny figure that I ever purchased. I'm blown away. She's my first standing bunny. I love everything about her. As I mentioned in my last video, I will not get Bibiana, which is a shame, especially considering how good this one is. Do I understand now the bunny hype? No. Not exactly, but I understand the hype with one fourth figure because they are a completely different size. And I guess you can only grasp it if you get your set for one fourth. So I'm now even more interested in my one fourth Susaku <laughs> because she will be huge, even huger than her, I think. This will be funny. <laughs> But overall, she is amazing. They did a really amazing job with her. Well done, free, especially for the price. Um, don't sleep on her. If you can get her, I would highly recommend to get her. She has an amazing hair scarf. She has amazing painting. The matte finish is unique and I can just recommend it. She looks stunning. She has, she's anime correct. She's really true to her character, even though she wears a bunny suit. And wow. I also love all the other stuff that I got. I really need to take a step back from the merch stuff. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope you liked what you saw. Tell me what was your favorite part of this video. I will catch you in the next one of on Miyochi. And Thank you for subscribing if you have subscribed. If not, please consider giving me subscribe and a like. And hopefully I can do more kind of videos like this in the future. I don't think or don't expect such a huge haul of mine to come the next month or the months after because that was just coincidental that all the package suddenly arrived at my door within one week. I did not expect this and it's amazing and it's 
but it's so much work to film it. Anyway, I'm drifting again out of my outro and I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you will have a wonderful week and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye bye. Wow, I, I can't stop looking at her, she's amazing.